okay so now if i if i want to write uh, declare a variable in javascript then i have to go for where a equal to 10 okay and if i want to log it i can able to log it like a value is and i can have to give comma here i have to give this so, semicolon every javascript statement should end with a semicolon okay that's mandatory uh, that, that's not mandatory but it is recommended since it may leak it may lead to a leakage problems in a memory leakage problems or browser uh, issues okay and uh, <clears throat> suppose if i want to run this one right i have to go ahead and then open in finder and i have to open it in google chrome okay now i am not uh, rendering anything that's why I, I was not able to see any value here so now i can able to find like value a equal to 10 suppose for example i am giving some b equal to 20 is this a valid statement or not do, do you, people have any guess no sir it's not a bad character no okay so let us see the value here so it will print or not just yeah, you are random i'm asking randomly you can tell yes or no there is nothing is yes. i think it's not no sir i think no, no sir. Okay. so let us see so may I like this also this uh, we can able to declare the variable but this is not recommended to declare the variable like this okay so we we always have to recommend uh, i mean uh, declare which variable where which where uh, which where only we have to declare a variable we can able to assign a value directly to a variable but it is not recommended to do like that okay so it's like an uh, where we act like an global scope what is meant by global scope so once i declare a where a, a equal to 10 then it is applicable to the entire script wherever the script um, up to, uh, until the end of the script this where variable is, is uh, uh, this a, a variable scope is applicable for example i have some other statements here some a equal to b i have so now i am giving some if uh, some you know uh, true if true and i am giving some console.log and i am giving some okay i am in if loop okay and now i want to display the console log a inside if loop okay so So as I told you, it's a, it's a global scope. Will it uh, uh, catch this? Yes, I think. Nice. Yes. Yeah. So it will catch if it is there in the global global way. It it can able we can able to catch inside the loop also. Okay, inside a loop also we can able to catch the a variable. Okay. And, and uh, if we want to declare outside also we can able to we can we can get the same value if you want to do some additions or something right so for example i am giving some where a c equal to some 30. so i want to minus the value here so i am giving some console.log and uh, here I am giving some C uh, equal to C equal to C plus A. So I want to display the C value. Okay. So what will happen now? So it will add 10 plus 30 and again it will assign that value to C. Okay. So let us see what will happen now. So we can able to find the value of C is 
some <coughs> value of c is some 40 so this is inside the loop okay inside the loop i am finding the value of c is 40 so let us go outside the loop since the operation is happened there inside the loop but i want to render outside the loop out loop value okay so let us see this you know okay so the value will be persisted even the whenever whenever the changes happen from that point onwards the value of the c will be changed to the entire program it won't revert back to the 30 value or previous value so uh, uh, in between if there is any manipulations are happened that value is assigned to this c, c value and uh, it will be allocated to its own one memory location and that memory location will be readed whenever we are redeclaring the value i mean when we, i mean whenever we are calling that particular value okay so if i this is about just like an i just added uh, one or two variables and then i have showed you one second after after this we we'll see about uh, the strings okay so if i want to declare a variable str string and i am seeing ram is studying 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 okay so i can be able to declare a string inside the value or ram i mean within the codes and i have to assign that uh, variable to a variable str so i want to declare this one now so console.log and i can be able to declare some string value str value and i am giving some str so let me see that value the str value ram is studying at home okay so is it like suppose if i am giving some where where str alpha so here i am going to give some roll number 0 3 h 0 1 a 0 2 1 5 this is one roll number i give though we are giving in an alpha numeric format also a it is considered to be as a string we can able to give a, a value i mean within the quotes and that quotes whatever the value we are giving the total string is considered to be as a string data type only though we are entering a numeric though we are entering a alpha numeric although we are entering a string also it is considered if we are uh, enclosing with them with the uh, double quotes they are considered to be as yeah i mean uh, a string only the data type will be always string okay so let us uh, see the value of alpha str alpha okay alpha okay so yeah let me take here alpha okay so let me check that value so in my mind i want to uh, concatenate these two values str and str alpha so let me concatenate so how can we concatenate two strings do you have any idea 
no no so this plus symbol i did okay so okay fine so plus is used to concatenate two strings okay so let me take str plus str alpha okay so i am giving here str and str alpha so ram is studying at home and i have given some total number so to be meaningful i am giving here one more like this total number and i am giving a like this so let me let me check now what will what it will show okay i think there is a small problem here what is your problem i have to give plus so uh, ram is studying at home roll number and i have given 03h0 1a0215 so like this we can able to concatenate the strings in javascript okay and uh, if i want to display this one to the ui how can i display so whatever the string i have here ram is studying at home roll number something so i want to display this to the ui how can i display so let let us take a para and uh, here i am giving some id equal to some you know um ram some ram info i have given some ram info so here i i want to render that element right so document dot get element what what element id i want to get here ram info is the id i want to get here okay one second yeah ram id in uh, ram info i am going to get here so i just want to get the value of ram ram info like this and i am entering here str okay alpha and uh, i want to enter all of this to a normal string let me take it to the normal string okay so i am from here about the ram info and it is i am considering this as somewhere so this ram info whatever i am having so i am going to assign it to ram info dot value so this is like coming from str right don't get confused it's coming from str and this ram info is a para id so let us see what will happen somewhere the error is there so what is the error okay so it is not a value it is in the html in the html so let me get that value um so document dot get element by id and uh, i'm having here para ready equal to um info okay so let me take this uh, mm, body id equal to okay. HTML. Okay. So let me take some a value. Check. Is it displaying or not displaying? One second. 
not set return null value cannot set 25 return null value but we are having to write was will okay. one second so we have to declare the values uh, i mean elements on top of the you know i mean after the body so that it will recognize the uh, i mean value is a uh, um, raw info is you now uh, whatever the string it is string we are passing we are going to get that one second again some others raw info str sir yeah okay okay fine cool so um after that if i want to comment a particular line in a javascript how can i comment so within two forward slashes i can able to comment a line in a javascript if i want to comment one or more lines multiple lines right then how can i comment so i can able to comment like this means slash uh, forward slash star and star and forward slash likewise we can able to comment multiple lines okay so if i want if i want to do arithmetic operations as we already saw it's like uh, c plus a and if you want to concatenation we have we have like c plus uh, i mean uh, that values to two strings we can able to concatenate suppose if i want to concatenate string and variable i mean uh, numeric so let us see the examples of string and variable so first i am giving the value as 5 next i am giving the value as some uh, you know 4 something like this so first i am giving some value here so let me take this to a separate thing here so here console.log i am going to give here some if you are giving some 5 plus 5 plus 3 what will happen 80 will get if you are giving some you know right three plus concatenate i am going to do some uh, seven right and if i am going to concatenate two strings what will happen so for example four plus four four plus four okay so let us see all this view right now so first one it will display yes 5 plus 4 as 54 okay the so next one is like 8 okay again if you if you are concatenating with a numeric and a string string literal if it is a numeric so it will take it will consider it will just concatenate as 37 if you want to concatenate two strings it will come as 44 so if you are concatenating okay some a value and some uh, c value right so obviously it will come as a c okay if you are if you are concatenating some a value plus numeric one so this will be come as a one do uh, since it is a1 ac 44 37 8 and 
the, we can able to concatenate but uh, whatever the values are assigned they will just like concatenate to the existing uh, uh, i mean literals okay that's how uh, there is a, so this is how we have to evaluate the um, concatenations between the uh, string some string or something okay and uh, and also like uh, it is not like and we have we can able to declare the variable with uh, only a string string we can also uh, use like underscore uh, in between and we can able to pass some x is equal to if you are giving some uh, variable sum uh, 80 right so you can able to still able to access the variable underscore eight underscore eight x okay 80 so you can able to find the value as 80 here so and also if you yeah mm. Yeah, we have some other assignments and add additional operators and uh, let, let us see some, uh, you know, uh, division operator and all. So, so first, uh, A by C, here we are having the A value and uh, C value. So let us see the concatenation of them. I mean, uh, division, division values. So C is equal to C by A. C by A. This is for division. Okay. This is for division. And uh, again, I am giving C is equal to some, you know, um, C, C into A. So if you are doing the first time, what is the value here? 40. 30 plus 10. 30 plus 10 is 40. So if you are doing C slash A, now what is the value of C? 3. 40. C by 3. 3. C. Now it will come like this. Sir. Now what is the value of uh, uh, C now? 4. 4 into See, I will show you how it will come. See here. Uh, I didn't display it, so let me display uh, one after the other. And uh, so, first uh, console dot log after this is after add after add and uh, one more time console dot log after division so this is again console.log after multiplication okay so let us see those values so first time what whatever it is adding right it will come as 40 okay see since we are having 30 and uh, 10 and 10 10 and 30 so that value is concatenated, uh, added, and uh, we will be we will be getting the value forty. So what is the value of C now? Forty. Forty is the value of C. So, but this A value is still as ten only. So forty by ten. It it will divide forty by ten, and we will get the value four. And after that, uh, I mean, since the no, no, the value will become four, four into ten, it will become forty. Do you people have any confusion here? So, man, so C value multiply in you know, a put four in divide division in in that what? Man, that starting value on the C the forty. So, we put me choose now, right? Thirty plus forty value after add. I mean, this is a Z value. 
this value is z value and uh, if i want to uh, this is c value since it is 30 by 10 it has given the it has written to the value 3 okay like likewise we have to do okay, okay. and uh, part of that uh, multiplying um, we have uh, oh, yeah we have double increment operator and trip and uh, double increment and a double decrement operators uh, for example here i am going to take a yeah, value a, a plus plus so here i am taking a a plus plus and uh, let me show you this is pre increment this is post increment operators so the, the what is it pre increment yeah so pre increment value once uh, no value ni a plus plus just if you are doing a value with a plus plus what will happen it will become a it will become a is equal to a plus one this is the meaning of this okay so but it won't display the value of 11 here since it is a uh, uh, mid post increment means it is going to be incremented but the value of the a will be remain as 10 10 only okay this but when it is coming for the next statement this whatever a plus one is there that is applicable what is whatever a plus one is there that is applicable here so he, here it will come with the value a is equal to 11 and again it will do a pre-increment pre-increment means it will add the value one 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 time okay so then it will tend to 12 it will apply that value a plus one and it will again tend to you know 12 so this is the difference between them if you are using a plus plus what will happen is it will show you the old value only but it will be incremented in the memory if you are giving a plus plus the value is getting it will get incremented but it will be shown after when it is coming for the next statement only for, for the previous statement whatever the original value of the a is there it will be available as it is so once it is coming for the next statement if it is finding pre-increment then if it is finding uh, pre pre increment pre increment means before before that we are going to increment the value uh, i mean before we are going for a so at that point of time it will add that value intentionally to the memory space and it will give that value to the a okay i think uh, you people understood this concept yeah yeah, yeah sir okay yeah. so this is a pre and a post uh, if you want to go for some uh, values some kind of some i am giving some variable as some uh, 60 and uh, I, am, I am taking here the values some d minus minus and minus minus d so let us uh, take these values and check okay so here it is uh, like this initially that value is always as it is value but coming for the next step it will be decremented to 59 and it will decrement one more time since we are having minus minus and it will it will result to 58 okay so this is like this d is equal to d plus one but value 
is updated after this statement okay so now it will enter the value by sorry d minus 1 but now the value will become 59 and again since it is like a post decrement it will do like again d is equal to d minus 1 so and again it will tend to the again it will tend to the 58 value that is so it will decrement the value to the i mean uh, most uh, negative okay here i can q minus minus here i can give a minus minus sorry d and d minus minus yeah mm, that's uh, how uh, we, we have to uh, de de uh, i mean do the de decrement and uh, uh, decrement values and uh, yeah, there is uh, one more concept uh, to compare the strings so if i want to uh, uh, compare a string right so then i have to go like this so first of all uh, i have i have here uh, one some strings is equal to some str some uh, string value one and i am taking this value as some rama okay so where i am taking some value str underscore two where i am taking the this value as some again some rama so if i want to compare these two str1 and str2 okay i have to compare with double equal to operator okay i have to compare with double equal to operator comparison okay so let us see the value of this what it will return it will return always boolean type str2 is not defined what it will return it will return always boolean value means it will it will return true so suppose if i am giving some value here r a m a means small letters and i am checking it is false can you guess why it is false is it capital letter is not equal to okay so how can you tell like uh, both both are both are but uh, both are strings and having the same meaning right mm. okay see uh, uh they, there are some ascii values ascii values for each letter okay uh, capital A is having different ASCII value. Small R, sorry, capital R is having different ASCII value, and uh, small R is having different ASCII value. Since they both are both are different ASCII values, they were not compared. If if the both ASCII value, uh, see, ASCII value we call it as internally the value uh, the value of the alphabet numerics whatever we are writing all will be converted into uh, machine understandable format i told that 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 machine under understandable format is in the format of ascii values so each c l and also o and a numeric underscore everything will be converted into ascii value okay since ram uh, rama capital rama is having a different ascii value small capital r is having a uh, different memory location ascii value not memory location ascii value and small r is having different ascii value they both are not compared they both will will become false okay logically how uh, I mean, th th uh, that's how it can be. Okay. Suppose if I want to uh, declare a particular uh, some uh, string here, and uh, I am giving the value as three. 
okay and i am giving str underscore four and i am giving the value three so i am going to check the value now okay so str underscore three is equal to str underscore four so let me check this compare to okay compared to so let me check this value so this value now it will become true why why because though we are uh, i mean giving the value of 3 it will be internally converted into string format it will it will be internally converted into string format and it will show that i mean whether the value is i mean whether the values are correct or not whatever the values you are entering that finally converts into string in javascript for example if you are if you are converting in, uh, if you are giving some numeric value also internally it will go and convert into uh, you know uh, strings and it will uh, give that value to a normal value only okay so likewise if you are if you are giving some uh, 3 and i am giving some 3 uh, 3 here so if i am checking like whether it is compared so it will show like they are compared if if i am giving the triple equal to there is one more operator triple equal to so what this will do this will check the the data types are correct or not this will check only the values so this uh, double equal to will check only the values but triple equal to will check the value as well as data type okay so as per our, our assumption if i am telling like the values are uh, this uh, this triple equal to is comparing value as well as data type then they, they both are you know not uh, um, we have to we have to get the value as false so let us see that value so we have got that value as false okay why because this data type is like a numeric data type but this data type is a string data type and this triple equal to will check a value and data type checking but here double equal to what it will do it will check only value okay that is the difference uh, between double equal to and triple equal to you, you got this point yeah, yeah yes sir okay prasad yes sir okay so if i want to uh, do some you know uh, not not equal to how can i uh, show like um, not equal to comparison not not equal okay so in this case right i have i have to give like str underscore one and uh, one and i want to give an exclamatory mark and i have to give double equal to and i have to give str underscore two so it will check like the uh, str1 as well as str2 values are not equal to or not they both are equal or not they both are you know not, not equal right so let us see that value since they both are not equal the value is true since they both are not equal the value is always true okay so yeah and now we can also do some comparison operators like this so console.log some 
a less than sorry some one less than two one less than three and also console dot log some uh, you know uh, three or uh, some greater than otherwise some ten uh, greater than some uh, you know five this is uh, this is what uh, gen general uh, uh, I mean less than greater than symbols and uh, this is uh, this is the other one like um, suppose if I am giving 88 and uh, it should be greater than or equal to some 88 okay and also console.log I am giving some 88 greater than or equal to some 87 so one more one more arithmetic operation I am giving some 78 is less than or equal to 79 and one more console log I am giving 78 you no know, less than or equal to 78 okay so let us uh, quickly see these operators comparisons okay okay so in this uh, all these comparisons i am going to see now so what is the first value just for your expectation it is like related uh, true right yeah true after that this is also true true after this true it is true after this false after this true. less than true. true and after this true so these are the things we have to see in the comparisons somewhere a 88 is greater than this is also true only okay. Sir, but greater than or not, any are equal chaos, no, sir. Greater, sir. If eighty-seven, ah, uh, thakko, sir. Ah, okay. Eighty, eighty-eight greater. And the equal operator would be that, sir. Right. And the irundi itlo okat check just to the. Irundi itlo either no okat unte. Chal. Ah, chal. Okay. It it either it can be the equal or it can be greater. Any any one is allowed. Okay, suppose if you we are uh, uh, taking some 90 here, then it will become false. Okay. We are taking some 90 here, line number 62, and okay. then it will become false. Okay, mm. this is how comparisons are, he are here. And, uh, Yes. If I want to do some, uh, you know, R operations, then I can uh, do some R operation uh, like this actually. So uh, I have some uh, 10 is equal to some 10. What is this value? That will become true, right? And I have end, end here. So end operator, what it will do? It will check like whether the value end or I mean uh, it has to satisfy the both conditions. Okay, so I am giving one more condition also here. So here I am giving some ten is some greater than uh, some eleven, right? So what is the first condition here? First condition I give ten is equal to double equal to ten means the value is true right and 10 is greater than 11 the value is false means 
what what the meaning of here is it is like true and false okay if it is true and false in uh, if you are remembering uh, stld or the previous uh, uh, you know switching switching theory and logic design so we will find this true and false it is all about false it is nowhere true okay now if you are finding the value it is like false okay so for your uh, this is end operator okay sir end operator in the sense like and gate like that right yeah and uh, yeah and or and uh, or and also uh, yeah that one that one only in engineering we will see right and yeah. and, and operator so this is our operator two pipes okay so the same thing i give here let me take the same example here so what is the value now i am giving true or false to show true this will become true okay one second 10 is equal to 10 but 10 is greater than sorry i haven't changed the operator so the value is true uh yeah that is how it is okay and if i want to go for not operator there is one more operator not okay so i have a value of 10 equal to 10 and uh, this value is a true value but i want to display as false this not operator will tend to you know it will make it as false okay so not operator it will inverse the result if it is true it will go for false if it is false it will show as true okay likewise it is useful in some cases it is really useful um, if it is not error or if it is not a if it is not error if it is not true if it is not false if the condition is not true then execute this block so such kind of information we can able to proceed with not operator okay uh any doubts up to here no sir okay china the pine okay china doubt sir one second yeah. d plus plus a plus plus 